Hey guys, Ed here from Joan Art Tools. Today I am very excited to introduce you to our latest new product, the Y-Spy. The Y-Spy is a wireless inspection camera that is ideal for doing any kind of inspections in areas that are hard to reach. The Y-Spy comes in this beautiful rugged case that includes the following inside. We have a five foot long telescoping pole that connects right up to the Y-Spy. And it can also connect up to the Y-Spy at a 90 degree angle here acting as like a periscope, allowing you to go inspect up into ceiling joists or uh, acoustical above acoustical tile ceiling. Additionally, it comes with a cell phone wristband, allowing you to put the cell phone onto your wrist, allowing you to see the images from the camera while you're manipulating the telescoping pole or connected some other devices, which I'll go through in a second. Comes with a flexible gooseneck, a more rigid fiberglass rod, a C-hook that can screw right onto the end of the camera or onto the end of the gooseneck or fiberglass rod. It also comes with a magnet adapter that is great if you drop a bolt in your engine bay while you're working on your car and you need to find it, you can use the inspection camera and the magnet to go pick it up. And it comes with a series of adapters that allow you to connect up to many different fish sticks or glow rods for pulling cable through walls to allow you to put the camera up into a wall and inspect what's in the wall before you go pulling any cables. Also included is a bag of two replacement O-rings. So with that, let me turn on the camera and show you what it can do. So turn on the camera. We unscrew the back here and just simply move the switch to the on position. A little LED will illuminate in the back here. By the way, this is your charging port and it does come with a charging cord right here. We call the camera the Y-Spy because it's its own wireless hotspot. It does not work on Bluetooth. So in order for you to be able to see the camera, you have to first set the camera up as your wireless access point. So go to your settings, go to Wi-Fi. In this case, my phone's already set up with the camera to the Jonar Y-Spy, but you would select that. Once it's checked off, go to the Jonard app open the Jonard app, and there is the image from the Wi-Fi camera. I'm just gonna tap on the screen, and it's gonna refocus. And there you go. Okay, so let me take you through the icons. First icon is your help icon. When you press it, it shows you what each icon means and gives you a little instruction about it. The icon down at the bottom here simply shows you for zooming in, it is a software zoom. You just pinch your, your screen like you would uh, in many other applications. I'll take you through each icon. The next button is the settings button. Press it and you have Three things that you can change here. You can change the camera resolution, make it from high res 720p to a low res 360p. You might want to do this so it doesn't take up as much memory. Next is the Wi-Fi channel. Press that and you have 11 different channels to choose from or auto. It defaults to auto, but in a very noisy environment, you may want to try other channels to get better image from the camera. The display mode button is here and it gives you three choices. Normal, always up round, or always up full screen. The default is always up full screen. And then once you make your changes, just select save. Now, the next here is camera. You can take a picture, just simply press the icon button. The next is a video. Simply press the video button and it'll take a video. Press it again to stop. The next is your gallery. 
So you can go in and see anything you may have recorded. Okay. The next icon is the LED brightness. Okay, this allows you to, by pressing it, you can turn the LED on the front of the camera off. You could set it to low or bright. The next is autofocus. Autofocus allows you to switch from auto or manual focus. This is manual focus here. Press the button again, it goes back to autofocus. By the way, the default for the camera is full brightness and autofocus. The next button here allows you to remove the icons from the screen, giving you a clearer picture, or allows you to put them back simply by depressing it. Down in the right hand corner here, I have battery icon showing how much battery life is left. So that's the Y-Spy, the app, and some of the items that come with it. A couple of things I'd like to show you is how easy it works with our glow rods. Here I have one of our glow rods, and to simply connect it up to the glow rod, we use one of the adapters, screws right in, and you could screw the glow rod right into the back. You can also, as I mentioned before, you can screw into the side so you have like a periscope view and by the way you can do it either side this can also work with our rdt 18k simply by using the same adapter screwed into the end of the rdt 18k i suggest using either the gooseneck or the rigid fiberglass rod to screw the camera to it. This provides you all kinds of functionality. I can go to periscope view, I can create an S so that maybe I want to just sneak it up into a cavity to look what's going on. Thank you for watching our video. Please take a moment, like, share, comment below, subscribe to our channel to see the latest videos from Jonar Tools.